if you can make it through, Junior can make it through. If he see you crying with your head down, he gonna have his head down, but she gonna have her head down. We got to be strong in the midst of our trial and tribulation. Say trials equals testimony. Because then when you're going through, you're able to tell somebody else that's going through a heartache, that's going through a bereavement moment, that's going through a sad moment, that has a financial problem. You're able to relate to them words of encouragement. You're able to tell them the guidelines that they need to make it through. Amen? You'll be able to comfort them in their time of need. 13, 13 says, be joyful that you are taking part in a Christian suffering. And that you will be filled with joy. I'm read for the NIV now. You'll be filled with joy when Christ returns in glory. 13 in the Bible and the King James say, but rejoice to the extent that you are partakers in Christ's suffering. And that when glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceedingly joy. It's good news to know. Yeah, that you got somebody that's got your back. It's good news to know that you can turn it all over to Jesus and he'll make it all right. I think it's good news to know that he died up on the cross for me and you. That he shed his blood so that we wouldn't have to go through the pain and suffering. I think it's good news that we have a friend in Jesus. That Chucky used to say that I'm a friend to the end, but there's no friend to the end like Jesus. Because he's there with you. When you think ain't nobody there, he's there. He has the answer when nobody else has the answer. He comforts you when nobody else is able to get there when you need him to be there. Amen? Amen. 14, 14, 14, 14 says, suppose people make fun of you. Watch out now. Because you believe in Christ. Then you are blessed because God's spirit rests upon you. He is the spirit of glory. King James said, if you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you. For the spirit of the glory and of God rest upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed and put on your part, he is glorified. We still talk about testimony equals, I mean, test trials equal testimony. I'm still on point eight now. People are going to hate because you are a Christian. We see it here in the text. Nero had already set forth to end this thing they call a new religion. To end this Christian religion they call the way. To end that some call this rebellious religion. He had already had set forth, put the wheels in motion to get rid of the Christian faith. Because he wanted the pagan lifestyle, watch this, to be set forth. He didn't want anything to interrupt with worshiping their gods because they would stop worshiping his gods and start worshiping the only God, the high and mighty God, the God of God, the King of Kings. He was calling a conflict within the Roman Empire because people were starting to stray away from the great temples of the Roman people and start going to church. Y'all don't hear me. Read the text. See, that's what now today many of us are still following pagan gods. We out here buying 50, we running by the liquor store, we in the clubs, we doing what we want to do, we don't listen to what other folks have to say, mama don't know what she's talking about, daddy ain't got the answer, uncle don't know where he's coming from, grandmama too old, we ain't hearing that. That's called we live in pagan lifestyle. If we were to live in a Christian lifestyle, we'll know to honor our mother and our father. We'll know grandmama does have all the answers because she wouldn't be here if she didn't lean on Jesus sometime and walk around talking to herself that the Lord is good. Y'all think she's crazy when she's walking around the kitchen talking to herself. Mumbling and saying, this too shall pass. Yeah, yeah, she's telling you that this too shall pass. Don't worry, have no fear because God is there. In your weakest moment, all you got to do is put your hands up and say, I surrender. God is able. Trials equals testimony. 
then we're around, we, we didn't got down to 15, and we're supposed you suffer. And then it shouldn't be because you are a murderer or a thief. It shouldn't be, nephew, because you do evil things. It shouldn't be because you poke your nose in other people's business. But suppose you suffer for being a Christian. Uh, then don't be ashamed. Instead, praise God because you know that because you are known by that name. That brings us to point B, to pen number B. Test for Christian's sake. Test for Christian's sake. This is a test for your sake, your survival in this Christian walk. Friends don't hate because you're walking a new lifestyle. You ain't doing the things you used to do. So they can call you and say, let's go to the club. You're the first one dressed. Don't worry about no gas. I got gas. I just filled up. I'm driving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on. I, I got everything. Don't, don't y'all worry about buying nothing when we get there. I got paid today. I got the first rank. They know. See, see, they don't talk about you because you don't dress like you used to dress. You don't talk like you used to talk. You don't go to places you used to go. Now they find out come Sunday morning at 9 o'clock you in Sunday school. Come Wednesday night at 7 o'clock you in Bible study. Come Monday, come Sunday morning at 11 o'clock you praising God for what he's done all week. Even though you had some bad times, even though rain fell in your life, you still left saying God is God. See, these scattered Christians, these scattered Christians got it mixed up and confused. Uh, and so, so they were led amok, they were ran astray. And they were bound, they were, they were, they were fooled because they were thinking what they was doing was wrong. They figured out that, well, why I must have to, why I got to, got to give in, why I got to, to continue to be criticized and beaten because I love God. Why I got to continue to be killed. Why my daddy got to die. Why my mama had to suffer. Because we believe in Christ. Because that's the devil in your mind trying to trick you to stay on his team. See, every time the devil loses one, he's upset because he got to gain team. See, because he know now that that first trick that he used against you, may it be a young man or a young lady, drugs or alcohol, ain't going to work this time. He got to come at you at a new angle. And see, that new angle going to be friends and family. He going to send mama at you and try to convince you what you doing ain't right. But you got to stay rooted. You got to believe God is and God will provide a way. Yeah. 